In addition to being a pure language, as we discussed in the prior video, Elm is also a language that features immutability. So what is immutability? An Im immutability is the property that once a value is set, it can never be changed. You can only replace it with a new value. So for example, if you look at the C operator plus plus, you may have some, let's see a statement in C code X plus plus. What that does is it takes the value X, which is a memory a location in memory, you know, and adds one to it. So if X had been four and you do X plus plus, you will get five. Now, in Elm or, or many functional languages, we can't do that. We state all values must be immutable. This solves all sorts of problems with concurrency and with decidability and with trying to figure out what our code is going to actually do. But it does mean we have to do some things differently. So first of all, what it means is that when you want to change a value, for example, change the state of the world, you can't simply say x equals x plus 1. What you have to say is basically create a new x that has a new value. Now in L, the Elm architecture, we do this in the update function, where we return, we take a model and we create a new model that replaces the old one. So the old model never changes, we just change it for a new one. Now there's some big advantages to this. And you might think, well, isn't that using a lot of memory? Well, it turns out the answer is no, because immutable languages which feature immutability have some very clever algorithms underneath the hood to let you do the things basically let you mutate, th th things actually will mutate without apparently doing so when they can. So for example, two data structures may have a piece in common in that they're sharing some value and they both know that the other cannot change it. Now you couldn't do that in a language immutability like JavaScript because either side could change the value out from the other. So this is an immutable system, and an immutable system has the distinct advantage that it allows us to reason about our code in nice ways. For example, in Elm code, you can very reliably say, if a value is wrong, you know where it's set, because it was only, could only have been set in one place. The model on our application can only be changed in the update function. If your model in an Elm application is somehow wrong, look at the update function. It cannot have changed any other way. You don't have to think about it. It cannot, it's physically impossible. Just as if you see somebody on top of a building, you know, you might wonder how they got there, but you know they didn't flap their arms and fly because people can't do that as much as it would be cool if we could. But, so this gives you some great power in that you can eliminate possibilities of bugs in places that you know that values can only be changed in specific predefined ways.